We spend a lot of money on our bicycles, the wheels, the tires. But what about filling those tires with the proper pressure? How accurate is our floor pump? How much can we rely on it? Too low a pressure? Well, we're going to get pinch flats. Too high a pressure? All right for the track, but you get out on the road, you hit a rough spot, you're going to blow out that particular tire. Let's take a look at a way we can calibrate and check our pumps for accuracy and reproducibility so we know that the pressure that we fill with the pump is what is going to be in the tires. The only tire pressure gauge for bicycles that we can find out there that meets an ANSI standard, in this case 1.5%, and correct me if I'm wrong and there are others, is Jayco. Now we have no association with Jayco and we buy all our own products. We're going to show you how to use the Jayco. In this case, this is a 0 to 160 PSI for clinchers with a Presta end. But the same would hold true if you have a tubeless tire. You'll want to use the 0 to 60 PSI Jayco in the same method. For the purpose of calibration, I've removed the front wheel, open the Presta valve, put the pump head on. And then we'll fill the tire to the desired pressure reading on the floor pump. To use the Jayco gauge, make sure the release valve is pressed and that the valve reading on the Jayco is zero. In fact, you should always store it on zero. Go ahead and open the press the valve. Take your Jayco gauge, insert it directly above and down, and then remove. You may hear a little hiss of air coming out of the hose, not from the tire itself. And here we can get a reading off the Jayco gauge. When you go to measure the tire pressure, if the chuck of the uh, gauge hits the edge and lets some air out before it's fully inserted, you really need to go ahead and re-pump the tire and try it again, making sure it doesn't hit the end of the valve. Insert it and take a reading from the Jayco gauge. To calibrate our floor pump, we'll want to check a number of different pressures for the particular tire. The tire is rated for, in this particular case, 90 to 110 PSI. So we're going to check the gauge on the pump against the Jayco gauge at 90, 100, and 110. So we'll start by pumping the tire to 90 PSI. Remove the pump. The air hiss you hear is coming from the pump itself, not from the tire. Take our Jayco gauge, make sure we press the release valve so that the gauge reads zero, and check the pressure on the Jayco. Record the Jayco against the dial on our pump. We will then want to repeat this three or four times at 90. So we'll let some of the air out. We'll reattach the pump, re-pump to 90, remove the pump, recheck with our gauge, make sure it's zeroed. and record. We want to get about three to four recordings and we'll do this each for 90 PSI, 100 PSI, and 110 PSI. Once we have values comparing the dial on the pump versus our calibrated Jayco uh, gauge, we can make a determination as to the accuracy and reproducibility of our pump 
which will give us some peace of mind if it's, the pump is way off as compared to the Jayco gauge. We'll show you in an upcoming video how to draw a calibration curve to be able to compensate for that. Be sure to use the Jayco Bike Pro that brackets around the pressures that you are using. On our clinchers, the 0 to 160 PSI is perfect for what we want to do. If we're running tubeless, we have a 0 to 60 PSI that will give us some accuracy at that lower range. And for $25 for either of these gauges, I would say it's a real asset to our toolbox and a lot cheaper than a lot of the other accessories that we have either in our toolbox or part of our bicycle. The pump mechanisms do wear. So yearly we check the floor pumps we use for both accuracy and reproducibility. How do you check the pressure that you put in your tires? Do you think it's important to do this? Please let us know and comment below. Subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony at Tony 10 Speed. Safe cycling.